This is MV Celsius Riga. On board is 200,000 barrels of Kenya's fast crude oil consignment destined for Malaysia. The shipment officially makes Kenya among world crude oil exporters and the first in East Africa. China's state-owned farm came China one international bid to buy local crude at 1.2 billion shillings. We will ensure that Kenya's natural resources are utilized in a manner that yields maximum dividends today, but without compromising the interests of future generations. Kenya's early oil pilot scheme, EOPS, commenced in June 2018, marking the beginning of the journey towards full development of Kenya's oil and gas resources. Speaking during the flag of ceremony, President Kenyatta said the next phase following the success EOPS will include fulfilled development focusing on production and construction of pipeline from Lokichar to the new port of Lamu. These, as he affirmed, revenues will be used to benefit locals as well. This early oil pilot scheme has also brought with it prosperity for the people of Turkana, but also the wider republic with very many local communities directing, uh, directly benefiting from employment opportunities in production. The heated oil pipeline from Loki Char to Lamu Port is expected to begin next year. The excellence work has started. We need to actually discuss with the counties, the seven counties, to deliver on land because we need a pipeline. That work has already started. Oil transport from Lokichar to Mombasa has faced an array of challenges, but the government has committed to addressing the challenge fully. Talo Kenya discovered oil deposits in 2012, and after a seven-year waiting period, the much-anticipated desire has come to fruition. Brian Itava, Channel One Business.